You know, it was just a, it was a, it was a sloppy day today for us in a lot of areas. Uh, offense, defense, special teams. Every everybody was complicit in today's defeat. We have a we have a long way to go as a football team. Uh, it was a, a, a farrago of things that went wrong. You name it, from penalties to a miss exchange with the quarterback and the running back early in the game, uh, drop balls in the in the punt return game, uh, miss field goal. You know, just every, just just about anything that could go wrong did go wrong today. At least the way I view it. Open for questions. You had, uh, had a couple of guys go around there. Anybody serious? Oh, well, I think uh, Dalvin Battle. I think his knee was a non-contact injury. He tried to make a cut when he turned up field with the ball, and uh, uh, his knee just went, you know, and I, I don't think it's good. I think he's going to be done, just based on initial observations. Uh, I hope they're wrong, but usually they're not in those cases. Galen? Uh, he got his head dinged, and uh, uh, he wanted to go back in, but I, I don't know if that was – uh, because he was feeling better, or because his head was big, that he just didn't know his capabilities. Boland, what? Uh, no, Boland. Uh, Boland. Uh, we were hoping to get him in. He got banged up in practice this weekend. Uh, he was in a wheelchair. Mike, Mike Cox. Uh, obviously, this is a game that, that uh, meant a lot to him. I mean, you know, it seemed like this was a significant step for your your running game. Yeah, and I really w wanted to get Mike more more meaningful touches. It just uh, we had so many penalties offensively, and. Uh, uh, gosh, and we were just pinned back, and we just tried to, had to throw the ball a little bit to try to get out of some of the holes that we dug ourselves into. And uh, I really, really thought we could have established him. I thought he was he was on track to have a good day. Made a couple bad decisions and, and gave up some ground, and uh, that was very atypical of him. Still, in, in in some ways, even though he's been around a long time, he's still in some ways a young player. You know, doesn't have a lot of a lot of carries under his belt for being a guy that's uh, been a fit, that's a fifth year guy. What was his attitude like before the game? Uh, he was just ready to play. But he's like that every day. You know, he was like that basically the first day of summer camp. He's just ready to play every day. I love the kid. I mean, he's really, really, really fun to have on the football team. Was there anything about the atmosphere that he helped uh, the guys with? You know, he talked about it a little bit. But uh, uh, a lot of the guys had been here before. And uh, we talked about it as a team. Uh, so they kind of knew. You know, we told them what it would be like. A number of us coaches had been here before, you know, many times some. And, uh, uh, we tried to give them the lay of the land, and uh, you know our guys came out. They looked, at, you know, it was a little, they looked a little bit like tourists. They were taking pictures when we came out when we first got here. But uh, by the time the game actually began, I think they were focused on the task at hand. Your kicking game looked like it was a little more solidified other than, other than the miss. It looked like yeah, and even the miss was a good miss. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, he really, really struck the ball well. Forty-five yarder. Uh, you would like to think a Division One kicker. He's going to come pretty darn close, which he did, but he really, really struck the ball well, and uh, I think he'll make one of those before the year's out. He obviously has the range. Were there other signs of progress in, in certain areas that, that, that you felt that moving forward? That well, you know, uh, having Anthony Dima uh, helped our offensive line, obviously, because he's our best offensive lineman, so having him back was a plus. Losing Bowen, who we just invested two games worth of rep reps in, uh, losing him now, so we, you know, the net gain was was positive, but it wasn't nearly what it could have been. The one drive at the end of the first quarter, I know it, it might seem like sort of a small blip in a, in a big picture, but you know, did you feel like, wow, we really had a clicking there, just just for one? Moment. Well, we and uh, it doesn't really matter who, and uh, we had a guy just uh, just had a, a brain cramp and ran the wrong route there when we were going in on third down. So you know, if, if he runs the right route, I'd like to think he would have been wide open with three to him for a touchdown, uh, but he didn't run the right route. And, uh, it's not like it was something brand new, something we do quite often in practice and just didn't do it in the game, you know, maybe pressure of the game. Who knows? I mean, you didn't spread the ball around today. I think nine different people, or there were eight different people that scored the nine touchdowns. Um, was there anybody that surprised you that maybe you guys didn't know had what they had? Oh, no, no, I mean, they're, they're all good, you know. Uh, right, right down to Justice Hayes, we recruited him uh, at the last place I was at. So, I mean, I knew virtually every guy that they had on the field, that, that at least they're skilled guys I've seen over the years, and uh, they're, they're all good, you know. Nobody surprised me. I, at least I didn't catch any surprises. Maybe they, they had a fullback in there, and I didn't know who he was, but everybody else pretty much I, I, I had a pretty good feel on. How difficult is it to gameplay for somebody like Nardarod? Well, it's impossible to replicate in practice. That's the number one thing. You just There's just nobody like that on our football team. Uh, there's really nobody like that in the country. So uh, how do you get ready for that? You can't. You just have to be able to uh, uh, be be athletic enough and be disciplined enough to try to try to uh, uh, make the plays when he comes to you. Uh, and he, he just when he got space, man, it's impossible to tackle him. Our guys just weren't.
capable up to up to that task today. What's your I mean, what's your reaction as a coach when you see him scramble after that touchdown? Yeah. Gosh, I was I was I was hoping he would throw it, you know, because I, mean, <laughs> uh, I know once he tucks it and gets past the line of scrimmage, you know, it's it's first down. It's just a matter of it's how how far he's going to go with it. Charlie, does it feel like? That this is the end of maybe one chapter of your season. You've had three BCS teams. You've had a bunch of pomp and circumstance games and things. Does it feel like this is the end and you start moving toward, toward other things? Well, I, you know, and, 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 and gosh darn it, the, the MAC is uh, so so underrated, but the field should start to tilt a little bit more uh, more favorably uh, from a talent standpoint. We're still going to be out talented in just about every game we play, but the, the talent level won't be nearly as, as severe. Let's put it this way. This is – if. This is one of the most talented teams in the country, and we're probably at, at the 1A level, and we're probably one of the least. You know, we're on opposite ends of the spectrum, so uh, it's that's a typical task for anybody, and uh, especially for a team who has a new coach and uh, new, you know, new new way of doing business for sure. Uh, so all those things just add up. I mean, we have to play flawless. We have a you know new quarterback, a new offensive line, and new receivers, new everything. You know, so it's uh, uh, it's 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 not easy. It really, just the fact that we're hitting our fourth game, I think, is going to be, it doesn't matter who we play, we've got to be a little bit better. Does it feel a little bit, sort of the analogy of swinging the heavy bat beyond deck circle, that you, you've played teams that are so talented that there's going to be little to Mac and Pro that you haven't, you haven't at least seen? Yeah, yeah, and, and, and there'll be guys in the Mac that will be as good or better than anybody we play all year. That's just the way it is, because, uh, I mean, there's sure. going to be guys in the Mac who are first, second, third round draft picks we got to go up against. And uh, we don't have any draft picks, uh, upper class draft picks on our team right now. You know, we're, we, we, we don't have those kind of players. Uh, but I think when there's only one or two out there on the field, you kind of can game plan around them. When there's so many out there like today, there's just, there's just no way to, who, who needs help? Everybody needs help. And we don't have enough help to go around. We don't got a lot of guys out there. So it makes it difficult. I've got the players outside. You got one more question? Okay, okay thank you very much. Yeah, it was just nice seeing you know all my real good friends. You know, I spent my whole college, most of my college career, you know, with them. So you know, yeah, it was just cool coming back and seeing them all again. What was it like coming back and playing here on a different team? Yeah, I mean, it definitely was. You know, it's like weird at first, just because you know, especially going like visit the team locker room and everything, and, you know, bring back a lot of memories. And yeah, it's definitely weird, you know, going to the opposite sideline and all that, but you know, it was fun. Though. Mike, you, you you came in. I mean, I, I'm sure there were there were daydreams about an upset coming in and mm -hmm. so forth. But today, this was your this was your best day as a running back in college statistically and so forth. You had some big runs and things. Did it, this feel like a day of progress for you? Something that you can build off of going forward to the rest of the season? Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, I thought you know, team. I don't even know we lost obviously, you know, by a lot, but I thought we got better as a team. Mike, Mike, how much did the way he ran today force them to respect the run a little bit more than maybe the teams that you played earlier had been? And how much did that open things up for, for you guys to, to move the ball a little more consistently? Yeah, as an offense, when you got a running back that's making big runs like he was today, um, definitely makes, makes the defense back off a little bit more. And it kind of opens up some, some windows for passing a little bit more. So I'll, whenever you have a running back like that, that helps a ton. For, for you guys as a whole, does it feel like that you, this is kind of the end of one part of the season where you've had three, three games against BCS opponents, a lot of guys playing games and playing games and, and reps more than they than had previously? Is, is, is it feel like now you can sort of turn the page and start as you go into conference play and start to uh, start to build on some things and try to make some, some more progress? Uh, I think each game we've made pretty substantial steps moving forward. Even though the score didn't reflect it today, and you know, obviously we lost by a lot. As an offense, I think we took another step forward. It might not be as big of a step as I wanted to see, but I think we're making progress offensively. We're moving the ball well. We just didn't finish like we needed to when we got into the red zone. And uh, you know, I like the way that, that we're coming along. Mike, promise me. That one drive that you guys had at the end of the first quarter was probably said it's the best, the best you felt, the best you guys have looked all year long, even though you were up against a, a, probably the best opponent you've seen? Oh, definitely. Um, I think as an offense, we felt a lot. You know, personally, I felt a lot calmer sitting in the pocket behind my guys. And, you know, I'm 
obviously Mike was doing a great job today running the ball. Our receivers were catching real well, running good routes. So I didn't think it really affected us too much that we're playing a big team. I think that actually helped us. I think we mentally we you know said to ourselves that we needed to step up, step up our game a little bit and play up to their level. Mike, you've gone front. against uh, all these guys in practice before, obviously, but was there anybody that you noticed really steps up in the game and getting hit by them in the game is different than what it was in the uh, I mean, not really. I mean, I think, you know, Michigan, you know, you got a ton of good players and everything, and it wasn't really uh, that much, for, at least for me, you know, that much of a difference between you know, them playing and practicing games. I mean, I've been in, like, scrimmage situations with them where they're playing just like a game, so it wasn't really How nice was it for you to come to this stadium, this building, and have the kind of success you did today? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I definitely felt good. I mean, of course, you know, I wanted to win and everything, but you know, definitely felt good coming back, you know. And what was it meant for you to have this kind of second chance at your uh, I mean, yeah, I meant a lot, you know. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm real happy, you know, I'm here and you know, getting a chance to play, you know, and hopefully he does make it the next level, too. Anything else for the question? You should tell your teammates. Been and you played and gone through all of this. Um, would you tell your teammates coming in again? Yeah, I mean, I just kind of told them, you know, what the experience is going to be like. You know, obviously, they have 110,000 plus, you know, it's going to be loud. And yeah, just try to help them, you know, get the experience, how long they've been the team, you know, whatever they want to you know. Like, are you glad that, like, God, are you glad that this game is over because you can be the running back for UMass and the running back that you split for Michigan? Uh, <laughs> I mean, I never really looked at it like that, but um. But people have asked you about it all, all, yeah. all season and so forth. Are you glad to kind of just have this chapter and people talking about this and the, mm-hmm. this game? Are you glad to have that behind you and, and focus on, on on the future and not anything that happened before? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess so. Just because you know everybody's you know, always asking about it, you know, now it's kind of over. So 